Doug Ford is sitting on $22.6 billion in excess funds and won't say how we're going to use them. And this is actually an increase of $11 billion from the winter economic outlook. Meaning that since the winter, there is an additional $11 billion being added to this excess funds pool that we have no idea how the government plans on spending. If they plan on spending it at all. Okay, that's a lie. We know how they're going to spend a little bit of it. They have $4.4 billion in excess healthcare funding, which is good, and $1 billion in post-secondary education, and $17.8 billion in other programs. And it should also be noted that in 2025, the Financial Accountability Office is predicting a $10.6 billion surplus, which is larger than the $4.4 billion surplus that the government has outlined. With the Financial Accountability Office pointing out that these excess funds and surpluses could be used to pay down the provincial debt, bringing down the debt burden to a level not seen since 2008. Specifically, this debt burden being lowered to that 2008 level would allow for the government to have more fiscal room for program spending. But let's be honest with ourselves, if Doug's going to do anything with that money, it's going to be not spending it. Sure, he might pay down the debt, but he's not going to do that in order to have more fiscal room to spend on programs. He's going to do it to continue to cut things and continue to pay down the debt. Which, fine, I am sure that a lot of you agree with that. But also, we seem to be struggling right now, so maybe program spending might be helpful. Considering that, you know, we're running out of nurses and we're not being as accessible in terms of paying for their training as we are with cops, where we're just, you know, like paying for all cops to be fully trained. Considering the fact that with global warming, we have one of the hottest springs on record, yet we still have schools in Toronto that don't have AC. Yeah, just prop open a window. But follow if you want to stay up to date on financial accountability in Ontario.